Good afternoon guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here today, thank you so much for watching my video. I really appreciate it in advance. And for those of you who continue to come back every week to watch my videos, thank you so much. It means the world to me. I honestly am so grateful to you guys. Thank you so much. So getting on with the video, today I wanted to show you guys how to remove wax and uh, residues and pesticides and things from your fruits and vegetables that you may have at home. Now, I only had a select few vegetables with me here today, so I didn't have any berries or lettuce in my pantry or fridge today. So I only had apples, zucchinis, cucumbers and pears. So I'm going to show you guys how I remove the wax from them and then go through later on how to remove wax from berries and lettuce and things as well. Before I go through with it, just one thing I wanted to mention is I have written a blog post which I will link in the description below for you guys to check it out if you want to that talks about all the different vegetables in priority of which ones you should buy organic. They call them the terrible 20 and then the fabulous 14 which are the ones that you can buy conventional not organic if you haven't got as um, much money to spend on all organic foods. So if you guys want to see which vegetables are okay to buy from your local store that aren't organic and which ones should be bought organic, just check that out and I'll link it below for you guys. Alright, so let's begin on how to remove the wax from fruits and vegetables. So for the majority of the produce I have with the skin, this is what I use to clean it. I simply place the fruits and vegetables into my kitchen sink or into a large bowl and I'll fill it with water and add one cup of white vinegar. Then I let it soak for up to an hour, then scrub the produce gently and rinse it off. Then I allow the produce to dry completely and then put it back in my fridge to prevent it from decaying. So that's my process for removing wax from most of my fruits and vegetables with skin on them. For berries, it's a little bit different because they tend to take on the flavour of what they've been soaking in. So I don't put them in white vinegar. So keep that in mind. If you don't want your berries to taste like vinegar, you, don't want, want, you won't want to put them in any water with vinegar. So what I do instead is I'll get half a cup of lemon juice and pop that into a spray bottle with two cups of fresh water and then I'll spray that onto the berries so they're nice and saturated fully coated in the spray and then I'll pop them into fresh water and let them soak for about 15 minutes then I'll let them dry completely before I put them back into the fridge now for lettuce and greens again it's a little different I usually use about two tablespoons of sea salt in two cups of water and then I'll add some lemon juice, about one lemon's worth. Then I'll spray this little solution onto the greens and I'll let them sit for a minute or so before I move them into the kitchen sink with the diluted vinegar water. So once I've allowed them to sit for about 15 minutes or so in the diluted vinegar water, I'll then rinse them in cold water and allow them to dry completely before I move them into the fridge. So one thing to keep in mind with all of them is that you let them dry completely before you store them away just to ensure that they don't get moldy or anything and it helps keep them fresh. And that is it guys. I hope you guys liked the video. If you did like it, please give it a thumbs up for me and if you want to join our fam just subscribe below in the corner it'll be awesome to have you guys i get so excited every time some, someone subscribes it just makes my day